And yeah, just like that, we have a cool effect. A cool effect. Hello everyone. So today we are going to create an infinite scroll effect on Webflow. You'll see it's very easy to set up. I hope you like it. Enjoy. So the first thing we want to do is to create a simple layout just to make sure everything is working. And the, the custom code is already done, so we won't have to, to write anything ourselves, so that's cool. But just so you know, what the code will do is that it's going to say that every time I reach the bottom of my page, every time I scroll to the bottom of my page, I want to scroll back to the top. And the second thing it's going to do is that it's going to duplicate all of our sections. Um, and it's going to place them at the bottom of the page so that when we reach you know the bottom of the page we don't have a, um, a blank space and to really have the illusion of uh, having an infinite scroll so let's do that in webflow so i have a, a simple website uh, right there and let's start building so i'm going to have a main wrapper so and inside that wrapper, I'm going to have different sections. Let's do that. Inside that section, I have a container and another wrapper. I'm going to call this content wrapper. And finally, I have an heading, so it's going to be an H2 and it's going to be section one. I'll add some padding to my wrapper. Let's say maybe 10 rem and 10 rem. Okay, let's duplicate. Section 4 and, oh, and 5. Okay, so we are good. So, um, basic page with a main and some sections and now we are going to add some classes to our element to um, and the custom code is going to target those classes so it's really important that we use the same name as the the ones i'm going to to use right now so first i'm adding a new div and i'm placing my main element inside that div i'm going to call that div infinite wrapper then i have my main element it's going to be my infinite content and then i have some sections so it's going to be infinite items uh, items sorry let's copy that to all of my sections and we are good so now we need to add our custom code and it's going to be very easy. We are going to provide you two links in the description, I, I think. And the first link is going to be uh, a CSS uh, link tag. So add it in the head tag of your website. And the second one is a script. So let's add the, the script before the end of the body tag. Let's save and let's publish. Okay, let's go let's see and now if i scroll yeah i have an infinite scroll and i can scroll down or up and i have my section one and then five four three two one so yeah it's working so it's cool and as you can see it's uh, very um easy and if we look uh, at our page, we can see that we have our five sections right there, but we also have our duplicated section right there. And so, yeah, just like that, we have an infinite scroll. And I like to show you just uh, two more examples. The first one is this one. So more, um, it's uh, it can work like maybe if you have a portfolio or something, you can use this. So let's see. I already have my page on Webflow and right there. And I'm using, actually I'm using the a collection list. So I use the CMS functionality of, of Webflow. 
and it's just for the example so i have some cities um, with a name and an image and i have three cities paris toulouse and barcelona and yeah just like we did before we have an infinite wrapper a main section with an infinite content and then a section with a class of infinite item and then i have some content and the content doesn't matter and well i, I actually don't need to publish uh, it's my bad okay let's see and yeah it's working actually i have a, a gray scale on my on my item so let's just remove that and then yeah after you can play around i add some some interaction some other effects some page transition you, you can do pretty much uh, anything you want but yeah it's working let's just see with the image in colors and yeah just like that we have a cool effect a cool effect and the last uh, the last one uh, the, la the last thing i'd like to show you is um, maybe let's try to create you know an image uh, gallery and let's try to do something cool so again my page is ready and I did not build a page, you know, uh, on the video because it really doesn't matter what you put inside your um, your container. What's important is that you respect the, the page, um, the, the, the two wrappers and that you add the infinite item class to your section. And so I have a simple gallery. Let's add a div with the class of infinite wrapper. Let's add my main in that. Let's say maybe infinite content and then I have my infinite item class already done so we're going to touch that let's try and publish <coughs> I think it's a cool effect for for images or galleries like that oh we have a oh yeah we, we did a mistake so I, I did a mistake I did not yeah I did not add my, my custom code so let's do that right now and by the way, I'm, I'm not adding my code to the global custom code of my website because I'm probably not going to use that effect on every pages. So I only need it, you know, on certain page. That's why I'm not adding it to the global code. Let's refresh. And yeah, I can see it's working because I don't have any scroll bar. And yeah, so this is my first page, my first, uh, you know, image and I scroll and I go back. And one last cool effect we maybe can add, and it's a bit of a, of a bonus, um, is to try to add um, a, an automatic scroll. So let me show you what I want to do. And again, I'm, we are going to put the, the scroll, um, the, the, sorry, the, the code at uh, the end of the video. Add, we're going to put the code uh, in the description of the video sorry but yeah it's it's really kind of a bonus you can do that maybe add a script tag at the end i did not create uh, you know um, i did not create a file for that because it's only one function it's one function and it's really short so let's go right there and i have a function called scroll down and maybe let's see what happens now okay let's go to our page let's refresh and yeah i'm not uh, i'm not touching anything and my page scrolls automatically so for a gallery i think it's a cool effect uh, you can showcase some of your work some pretty much everything you want and uh, yeah it's cool i hope you like the video uh, don't hesitate to tell me what you what you think about it and yeah see ya